Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and in this video, I want to go over the PS Chia Plotter. Now, many of you in the community has actually pointed me to this, and it's a pretty uh, good GUI from a user. I don't really know their name, but they got a great YouTube channel that you should actually check out called Not Another Tech Channel, and uh, they do a pretty good job of explaining things. Now, you're going to get to a certain phase in this video where you're going to have to trust the individual who created this or you're going to have to run the script and I know a lot of people especially when they get to a certain point might get a little bit hesitant or it may seem sketch but the uh, the PS Chia plotter is a pretty good utility in which you can control and I actually did some testing but please go check out and show some love to not another tech channel because they did a really good job I like the way he presents things it gets a little bit technical so what I did is I actually loaded it up on the NAS and we're just we're operating off a of recording so for, forgive me for the quality but you need to go to PowerShell so you just go to start type in PowerShell but it's very important that we run as administrator and when we run as administrator we can actually load the scripts or enter in the scripts that we need first one's gonna be install module repository uh, PS gallery and then dash name PS Chia plotter now when you hit enter it's going to hang there for a minute just be patient um, it's gonna load up you can see glass wire down here I like glass wire is a good program because you can kind of monitor network connectivity obviously here comes the the, the parts of the scripts um, in which it's asking you know do you, you need this to continue you gotta hit yes so we're gonna put Y hit enter and then again it's gonna hang for a second load up and then we're gonna have to do something uh, else to this repository and that is to trust it now you can do yes to all but I just did yes in this case and it works just fine um, but you know we're, we're installing modules from an untrusted repository however I trust uh, not another tech channel then we want to update the module so the commands are going to be down in the description below but we update the module and last but not least we want to set the execution policy uh, to remote signed when we do this it warns us about it but additionally if you want to learn more information about uh, the execution policy and, and changing it stuff like that the risk uh, there's actually a, a link there and I'll go ahead and grab it and put it in the description of this video as well I opened it up I read through it really quick and you know it, it's it's something you need to be aware of but in this case again uh, I am trusting the individual that runs the channel so we just need to hit yes or why and then hit enter and then once we're done with this we need to launch it so there's two commands that you can do one with uh, you know debug with notepad and one without I just do show dash PS Chia plotter and it's gonna hang again just give it a minute because it's gonna pull from the repository and then load up and it's actually a pretty neat simple GUI in which you can utilize to set up new jobs and everything. Like if I get out of your way, you can see everything. It's kind of right there. If we click new job, it opens up a window. What I notice right now, uh, it, the bases are there for the Chia GUI. Uh, the base you know, features that we would utilize from the Chia GUI is in this one. Um, the only thing is, is uh, there's a couple things that are a little bit different. What I like here is you can access your temp drives, your final drives, but you just want to make sure that you got your drives correctly, select it, and then kind of go from there. But you can see we can do total plots, uh, plots in parallel. We can delay, and then there's a first delay. Um, if you play around with this, you can really fine tune your plotting in parallel capabilities, which I have an upcoming video about that. Uh, but I noticed that uh, the K size is only 32. You can't change it in the PS uh, Chia plotter you can only change it inside the actual GUI from Chia itself so right now 32 is what you should be doing I guess that's the reason why you left it alone uh, but you can't change it to 33 or anything else whatsoever it's only going to be 32 so just bear that in mind but it's a very simple GUI um, it gets the job done and it's very easy to manage and maintain. I actually like the queuing system because it gives us a little bit more control than the base uh, wallet that we get with Chia. 
Um, obviously, you can disable and enable bit fill plotting. You can exclude final directory, the whole nine yards, everything that you'll be able to do. There's also what I notice additional parameters uh, where you can enter a pool public key and a farmer public key. I wouldn't mess with that or enter any of that information, but you could if you wanted to. Um, and of course, you can manage all of your jobs, kind of a queue system. It reminds me, honestly, of, of, of what is it called? uTorrent, the application. Kind of reminds me of that back in the day. Um, I may be calling it the wrong application, but very simple, gets the job done, uh, and allows you to manage each individual queue. Now, as far as the settings that I have or the settings that I've been using to plot my uh, plots in parallel, you have to stay tuned for a video on how I optimize my setup. I already did one, but I learned some new tricks. But we can see here that we choose our temp drive. We're going to have to click add, but then we need to choose the path of that temporary folder. Uh, what I like to do is just simply go to where that folder is, copy the path in the top of the window, and then paste it in this area. And you can see that's exactly what I'm doing here in this recording. And you're going to do the same thing with the final. You're going to uh, click the drop down. You're going to select the drive. In this case, I had to confirm it's drive E that I need to put stuff in because the other ones are a little bit full or are full, excuse me. I click the address bar at the top of the folder just to copy that directory. Uh, Got to hit the drop down first, then paste the path. And then you can go ahead and start the various jobs, set up your plots, how many you want in parallel. I played around with the first delay and the second delay because the NAS uh, SSD is a little bit uh, finicky or it's slower than some of the other drives, but it can still get the job done. And you can see here, it warns us that we're gonna do a default delay time of 60 minutes. Do we wanna continue? And then there we go. And we have our jobs here. We can pause, we can resume. Now, what I'm not showing you because I ended the video before then is of course, it shows up in the uh, the Chia wallet, the, the official one. Um, but as the jobs show up, they'll actually show in the Q plots field here. And there's a lot of good information that you can uh, actually see within it. Um, and cancel jobs and much more. So to me, this application is much more efficient to build plots, and especially plots in parallel, than the normal Chia wallet. So I ask that you simply go give him some love because he did a really good job with this application. Again, I know some people are worried about running scripts from other individuals that they don't know personally, uh, but I trust not another check tech channel just fine. And here, I wanted to show you that if you close out, which we did before, we closed out PowerShell and our plot if I skip ahead, our plot still stayed. The one that we originally queued stayed, but it's not in the PSG plotter. So if you close out PowerShell, you're gonna lose the capability to see where you're at and stuff like that. So you wanna leave that open, don't close it out. Uh, just minimize if you need to work around and stuff like that. But really good application, very thankful for uh, Nanak Tech Channel, which I'll have a link down in the description below for, for making this for us, uh, for the, the Chia community. Uh, because he's taking time out of his life to do so as he works a full-time job just like myself um, and we do this st kind of stuff on our free time so make sure you go show him some love thank him I'll have hit the github link down below he's make, got a number of different tools um, which I may cover in the future but definitely check it out in the description below but that's gonna do it for me today do me a favor guys on the way out hit the like button subscribe for additional content like this don't forget to hit the notification bell as well as links in the description like to dojelord.com where you can get sweet serpent x merch and you guys have yourself a wonderful day i'll catch you in the next one mm -hmm.